Hi everyone, this is Peter here. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today's video is gonna be about shooting wildlife images on overcast days and why it can be beneficial. And I'll also show you a series of images that I took just a couple of days ago. And I will talk about one image in particular that I'm really happy about. So let's get started. When we think about optimal lighting for nature and wildlife photography, usually golden light comes to mind. But even during golden hour, uneven exposures can happen quite frequently, even though the light is very warm and quite soft. This is usually not the case on overcast days when the light is very nice and even due to the fact that clouds essentially function as giant diffusers, which makes the light very soft, very diffused. And this can be very useful, for example, when you are trying to shoot a bird species that has white plumage. So you won't have to worry about blowing out the highlights. You will still be able to retain plenty of information both in the shadows and the highlights. One of the main reasons why I used to be averse to shooting on overcast days was my fear of shooting at higher ISOs. I always tried to shoot at a very low ISO at a maximum of 1600. Maybe that is because I used to shoot with an APS-C sensor, the Canon ATD, and with that particular camera, if you went above ISO 1600, the images start to fall apart. But you don't have to worry about that with the majority of today's full frame cameras, mirrorless cameras especially, you can use a much higher ISO range, even in the range of 1600 to 12,800, the images are beautiful, they retain plenty of detail, and the signal to noise ratio is still very good. For images using a higher shutter speed, let's say one over 1600th of a second, you'd be normally using ISO 3200 and above. My main camera, which is the 1DX Mark II, is a quite capable camera, especially when it comes to low light situations, even though it's a five year old camera, it's pixel pitch is 6.57 microns. So it lets quite a bit of light in. That is why you can use higher ISOs without introducing too much noise. For the images that I'll be showing you in a mere moment, I was using an ISO of 6400. The shutter speed was one over 2500 of a second and the aperture was 7.1. One little post processing tip that I can give you is experiment a little bit with the noise reduction sliders, both in the color and the luminance channels. For this particular ISO range, I normally apply 35 points to the luminance and about 50 to the color channel, but I push the detail slider all the way up to 100% just to maximize and retain as much detail as possible. This can be achieved both in Photoshop, using the camera raw filter, or in Lightroom, where I usually tend to do my noise reduction. I wanted to provide a little bit of context to the images I took yesterday. Again, it was a lovely overcast day, and I went out to shoot some bird images at the local reserve, and I was about to head home and was quite underwhelmed by the fact that I didn't get to capture anything special. But right at the end, I spotted a noisy miner that was printing itself on a branch with zero clutter in the background. I was about 30 meters away from it when I first saw it, but I managed to get quite close to it actually, approximately three meters at its closest. And right at the end, I finally grabbed the frame that I was super happy with. It wasn't facing me when I took this shot. The way it opened its wings, the shape resembled that of a butterfly and the amazing colorful patterns in its plumage looked quite spectacular in my opinion. Anyway, let's have a look at this series.
hope you like the images and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've been reticent about shooting on overcast days, then stop that. I'd like to encourage you all to go out and experiment on overcast days. You will be surprised and amazed by the quality of images that you can get. This is a kind of self reminder for me as well. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, if you're new here, then please consider subscribing and see you guys very soon in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,